Hello, how's it going? Another bloody video. I received a comment on Saturday. Dakota Phillips said, Great video. Why, thank you. Think you could give us a video with the books and what order to read them in? I can indeed do that. Sort of. I found myself wondering this very thing back when I first started delving into the lore. There's a number of different reading orders floating about and to be honest, they're all kind of correct. If I was to use the novel Rise of the Horde as an example, the book starts on Argus and tells the story of the Eridar getting corrupted and Velen escaping, but it ends with the orcs on Janor basically getting ready to invade through the Dark Portal. So it's difficult to work out where that book fits into a definitive reading order. But I'm going to give it a try for you guys and feel free to write in the comments if you think there's a better order. I'm not even remotely an expert on this stuff. For this list, I'm just going to focus on the novels. There are short stories and comics and stuff floating about, but in the UK, they're not that easy to get hold of, so I'm just going to assume that's the same for everyone. Also, obviously I'm going to try and be as vague as possible to avoid spoilers. So the first book on the list is Warcraft Chronicle, Volume 1, by Chris Metzen, Matt Burns, and Robert Brooks. This describes the origins of the universe, but also the history and mythology of Azeroth. I'm putting this first, but it's basically going to be something that you'll be reading in between the other books on this list. I would recommend that you first read up to the end of Chapter 2 before putting this to one side and moving on to book two on the list which is Dawn of the Aspects by Richard A. Knack. Unfortunately, this book is told from the perspective of a modern day character and references events from Cataclysm, but it's ultimately about the battle between the original five dragon aspects and Galakrond. Once you finish that, you'll want to pick Chronicle back up and read up to the end of chapter three before putting it down again and picking up the following books. Books three, four, and five, The War of the Ancients trilogy by Richard A. Knack. Once again, these books do kind of jump backwards and forwards in time, but the main story arc fits here in the timeline. The titles of the books kind of give away what these are about. The Well of Eternity, The Demon Soul, and The Sundering. At this point, you can pretty much finish Chronicle Volume 1 and move on to Book 6, Chronicle Volume 2, also by Chris Metz and Matt Burns and Robert Brooks. Chronicle Volume 2 is about the history and mythology of Draenor, and you'll want to read up to the end of about Chapter 3 before moving on to the next book on the list. Book 7, Rise of the Horde, by Christy Golden. Each chapter is told from the perspective of Thrall in the present and Durotan in the past, but the overall story is about the orcs being manipulated into fighting the Draenei and drinking that sweet, sweet demon. Blood. Then you want to read chapter 4 of Chronicle Volume 2 before moving on to the next book. Book 8, The Last Guardian by Jeff Grubb. This one is told from the perspective of a young-ish Khadgar as he first becomes Medivh's apprentice and takes place during the First War. Back to Chronicle, reading to the end of chapter 5 and then book 9, Tides of Darkness by Aaron Rosenberg. This one takes place during the Second War from the Alliance perspective. This is where Illyria and Turalyon are first introduced. Then you can finish off Chronicle Volume 2 and breathe a sigh of relief because the backwards and forwards part is finally over and you can just read books one after the other now. That is, until Volume 3 comes out next month. But we're going to speed up a bit now. Book 10, Beyond the Dark Portal by Aaron Rosenberg and Christy Golden. This one is told from the Horde's perspective and it takes place shortly after the Second War. It covers the formation of the Alliance expedition and the shattering of Draenor. Book 11, Day of the Dragon by Richard A. Knack kind of fits here as a side story. It takes place just after the Second War. Alex Straza gets captured and needs rescuing. Book 12, Lord of the Clans by Christy Golden. This is about Thrall's rise from slave to warchief, I'd recommend logging into WoW, heading to the Caverns of Time, and running the Dernhold Keep dungeon either before or after reading this book. Book 13 of Blood and Honor by Chris Metzen. This one's technically a novella, but it's about Tyrion Fordring becoming besties with Eitrig. Book 14, Arthas, Rise of the Lich King by Christy Golden. It, it's fantastic. Title kind of gives away what this book's about. The opening and ending of this book take place just after the end of the Burning Crusade expansion, but the vast bulk of the book describes the events of Warcraft 3. Book 15, Cycle of Hatred by Keith R. A. De Candido. This one's set after the Third War and about one year before World of Warcraft begins. This book basically just explains why at the end of Warcraft 3, humans and orcs on Kalimdor are allies, but in WoW, they're not. And the main characters are Jaina and Thrall, so good stuff. Book 16, Night of the Dragon by Richard A. Knack, a sequel to Day of the Dragon, obviously. This one covers the origins of the Twilight Dragonflight, ultimately ends up setting up events from Cataclysm, but sort of fits in here in terms of timeline. Book 17, World of Warcraft Illidan by William King. This is Illidan, Maiev and Akama's perspective of the Burning Crusade expansion. It even includes Illidan's defeat at the Black Temple, so totally log in and do that raid when you're reading this. Book 18, Storm Rage by Richard A. Knack. It amazes me when people say Christy Golden's written most of the novels. Mr. Knack's written seven of these buggers so far. This one's about everyone's least favourite storm rage, Malfurion. It covers the corruption of the Emerald Dream. Basically, the Emerald Nightmare Raid and Legion is just the events in this book happening again. Book 19, The Shattering, Prelude to Cataclysm by Christy Golden. Okay, she's written a few too. Obviously, the title gives away what this book's about. In the same way as Arthas Rise of the Lich King leads up to the Wrath expansion, this one sets up Cataclysm. Book 20, Wolfheart by Richard A. Knack. This one's a little weird. The Wargun are voted into the Alliance. 
Varian Rin doesn't like it. The Highborn are reintroduced into society. No one likes it. And there's a whodunit murder mystery. Good times. Book 21. Thrall. Twilight of the Aspects. By Christy Golden. Jeez, it's like these two are in competition with each other or something. A follow-up to the Shattering. Green Jesus is obviously the centre of this story and goes on a knowledge quest through time. Still with me? Have a cookie. Book 22. Jane of Proudmoore, Tides of War, by Christy Golden. This one's set between Deathwing's defeat and Mists of Pandaria. Garrosh wants to destroy Theramore, and Jane has started to think, maybe the Horde are jerks. Book 23, Vol'jin, Shadows of the Horde, by Michael Stackpole. This story takes place after the Dagger in the Dark scenario in Mists of Pandaria. It's about Vol'jin, obviously. He learns some Pandaren ideology whilst also having some troll revelations of his own. Book 24, War Crimes, by Christy Golden. This one takes place between the Siege of Orgrimmar raid at the end of Mists of Pandaria and the Warlords of Draenor expansion. In essence, it's about the trial and sentencing of Garrosh Hellscream. Tyrande Whisperwind is the prosecution, Bane Bloodhoof is the defence, and we see a lot of pivotal moments from Garrosh's past. Believe it or not, there's not really any Legion novels. You could read Illidan again if you want. It does include the origin of the Demon Hunters. And finally, Book 25, Before the Storm, by Christy Golden. This one isn't out yet, which means it's a tie of eight books each for Christy Golden and Richard A. Nack, which is completely irrelevant, but I'm starting to realise upvotes on WoW Reddit don't necessarily represent who's correct. Bit of salt in this video. I apologise. <laughs> this one sets up Battle for Azeroth and will be out in June, so plenty of time to read through the other 24 novels in preparation. So that's it. I hope this video didn't seem too listy. I just figured since Dakota asked, I'd try and create a little video. Like I said before, feel free to comment, suggest a different reading order. Let me know if I've missed anything. If you think there are some particular short stories or comics that people would benefit from including in this list, go ahead and let people know. Like, subscribe, blah blah blah, all of that stuff. All that's left to say is, thanks very much for watching and see ya!